Уважаемый господин генеральный секретарь, коллеги, приветствуем вас в Москве. Рады этой возможности обменяться мнениями о сотрудничестве между Россией и э, Советом Европы. Mr. Secretary General, dear colleagues, welcome to Moscow. I'm glad to have this opportunity to exchange with you views on cooperation between Russia and the Council of Europe. Совет Европы мы рассматриваем в качестве одной из немногих работающих форматов работающих организаций общеевропейского, межправительственного и межгосударственного сотрудничества практически во всех сферах, которые важны для повседневной жизни граждан Европы. We see Council of Europe as one of few working organization of organizations of pan-European intergovernmental interstate cooperation in all fears that are important for the daily life of the people of Europe. We считаем it important to maintain the integrity of the profile of the activities of the Council of Europe in all aspects of its competence, including the rights of the person, democracy, верховенство закона, так и взаимодействие в сферах социальной политики, здравоохранения, культурные, образовательные, гуманитарные, спортивные обмены и, конечно же, политика в отношении молодежи. And we also believe it is important to ensure and preserve the multifaceted nature of the activities of the Council of Europe in such areas as human rights protection, democracy, rule of law, social policies, health care, cultural, humanitarian, sports politics and youth policy. И продвигая известную инициативу о необходимости создания единого экономического пространства, пространства безопасности, от Атлантики до Тихого океана, мы убеждены, что Совет Европы вполне может стать гуманитарной опорой этого проекта. And while promoting the well-known initiative, the need to build a single economic and security space from the Atlantic to the Pacific, we believe that Council of Europe can turn into the foundation for such a common space. Гуманитарная. Humanitarian foundation for such a space. А, так что мы... Предвкушаем конкретный разговор сегодня с вами и с вашими коллегами, господин генеральный секретарь, по всем вопросам, которые стоят на повестке дня нашей общей организации. So we look forward to have a specific discussion with you, Mr. Secretary General, and your colleagues regarding all issues that are on the agenda of our today's meeting. Thank you. Thank you, dear friends. We are very glad to be back. Um, we are coming in a very difficult time, but also in a time where there is uh, some hope. And uh, I would like to express uh, a strong hope that we can uh, return to dialogue and cooperation in Europe and also between the Russian Federation and the United States. I think this is the only hope we have in order to solve many of the conflicts that uh, are also now strongly influencing the European continent. Uh, I'm also coming here with a very clear message that the uh, Russian Federation is an indispensable part of the European Convention on Human Rights and that we all have um, an obligation to, the, to do everything we can to uphold uh, the standards in the Convention and the, uh, and the power uh, and the supremacy of the Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. There are many um, tendencies throughout Europe now to um, say that uh, the Convention and the Court has got too much power, that we have to start to revise the European Convention. Many also uh, start to challenge um, the supremacy of the Court, and uh, these are very worrying tendencies. And we would like to, to say here that uh, all of us have now uh, a very strong uh, need to, to stand up for the European Convention. As you said, this is uh, the legal basis for Europe as it is today. And there were clear reasons why it came about. Namely, it was said after the Second World War that uh, the peace in Europe had to be built on human rights and the rule of law. And uh, if uh, this is being threatened, then we are back to the old times with nationalism, um, attack on minorities, xenophobia, which we are witnessing many places in Europe now. It is indeed very, very worrying. Uh, so, um, and as you said, uh, Foreign Minister, uh, the European Convention is very important for the daily life of millions of people. 
uh, in Europe, not only because they can go to this uh, high court, to the highest court in Europe, but also because the standards applies to everybody and that the Council of Europe is playing a very important role now with regard to uh, fighting xenophobia, uh, with regard to um, uh, protect the rights of all the refugees that are coming to the continent. We are playing an incredibly important role in preserving the integrity of sports, just to mention uh, a number of issues that um, are important for us. And of course, we are going here to discuss also internal matters in the Russian Federation and what we can do also together in order to preserve the, the Minsk agreement and how we can do more to monitor um, the many places in Europe